Glory, glory to the God of heavens. Glory, glory to the King of all kings, for he is our God and there is none that can take his place. There is none that he has to answer to. Our God doesn't have to negotiate with any facet on our life. He has the first and he has the, the last say, for he is the alpha and he is the omega. All glory be given to Yah, the God of the great heavens and the earth, for he is worthy. It is your brother Jehoshaphat Israel here in the house that God has made. And I've been putting off this video for the longest time because... I didn't I didn't think that it was it was important, but for my people out there in the world who will be doing a little bit of traveling from state to state and city to city and what have you. I just want to tell you all what is the difference that I've seen between black people from California to Chicago. Now, one of the biggest things that that we as black men so-called African Americans that live here in America that we have a problem with that I have seen and I have looked at I have looked at this family I've really looked at this we as so-called African American men black men that live in North America we use our spiritual gifts on each other family <laughs> I know it sounds crazy family but I kid you not family the gifts that God gives us the gifts that we naturally have, either it be the, our mental capacity, either it be our speech, either it be our knowledge, either it be our physical prowess, either it be uh, our, our money, whatever, whatever the spiritual, the, the intellect, whatever the spiritual gift that God has given us. And we are supposed to use the same gift family to edify and to glorify him, to magnify his name all the way up to Zion family. We're supposed to use our gifts whatever they might be to edify his holiness but we as black men we use our spiritual gifts on each other family and it's a, it's a sad it's a sad thing to see family but it's the truth family we can do better me and my brothers and my sisters i don't know about women you know what I'm saying? I'm not a woman. You know what I'm saying? I don't know about my sisters. I don't know how they act. I don't know when they get up in a, uh, a circle and they be talking to each other what they talk about. And uh, But I know it's some backbiting and I know it's some gossiping involved in some of that family. I know it is family, but I, I couldn't I couldn't tell you what what's what the sisters are doing to to themselves. But I know as a black man who live here in North America, we use our spiritual gifts against each other not so much on other people i have not seen a black person using his spiritual gift on mr charlie i ain't seen that family you know what I'm saying? i ain't seen that at all family the borders are the brothers across the border i haven't seen that family our brothers across the pond i haven't seen that family i see black men using their own spiritual gifts on each other and we should be ashamed family we should be ashamed but you know, your brother Israel, every single night, I pray to your God that he stays true to his promise. And he promised to, to remake our heart and give us a fleshy heart. Right now, black people heart, it's not so good, family. And I, and I really mean that. Our hearts, it, it's not so good, family. It's made out of metal and wood and plastic and chips and some type of ore that was dug up off the ground. That's not no heart, family. Especially when it comes to your people. Now, what is the difference between California blacks and Chicago blacks? Now, I don't know if y'all know this, but it's not a lot of black people who live in California. It's only last time I checked, it was two point. They say it's three million of us that live there. I don't think so. They still got me registered that I, li I looked online, family. They still say that I live in, in California. I do not live in California, family. I'm right up over here in Cook County, family. You know what I'm saying? I'm right here in Cook County, family. Right on Martin Luther King Street, family. I'm not hard to find. I'm everywhere, family. You know what I'm saying? I'm all around this place. So they still got me labeled in California as I live there, and I don't at all. So that's that's kind of that's kind of hard. That's kind of messed up, family, as I look at it. It really is because I don't live out there, but they still claiming me. And when I came out here, they did they did every single thing in their power. But then again, I also know that I'm fighting against principalities trying to stop me from all the good that I'm trying to do. Uh, I, I, I hit a, an epiphany last night. I was like, Father, and I was praying. I was in deep prayer. I was like, Father God, look at, look at all. I was mad, family. I was mad because I was sitting there and I was like, 
Father God, look at all of this stuff that's been coming against me. And all I'm trying to do is build something for my future. And I've been on this road for the last 20 years, family. I'm not playing around, family. I left California because they say it's hard for black people to get houses. You damn right. It's hard for black people to move out the ghetto. You damn right. Family is tokenism all out there. Family and family. They only need one Hebrew family. They only need one Negro family. One family at the whole spot. I don't know about the youngsters. I don't know. They're given so many opportunities. But from my generation, it's more harder family. We got the business handed to us family. It's harder on. They look at the young people. They be like, damn, they, they fathers and they mothers went through so much. So let me try to make it a little easier on them. It's tokenism there. What is the difference between California black people and, and uh, Chicago blacks? It's simple, family. Black people in California, they hate on you for what you have because it's tokenism. It's not it's not a lot of jobs. That's why black people are reduced to go to to, to crime family. I, I, family, I almost was a criminal family. I almost was a criminal. I didn't want to give up, family. I, I kept my head down, family. I kept my feet marching forward, family. And I did what I had to do so I didn't become a criminal, family. But when you're left without any resources, what are you going to do to feed your babies, family? What you going to do, family? You're going to have to play the stick-up role. You're going to have to sell a little bit. You're going to have to steal a little bit. You're going to have to do what you have to do to survive. But if you ever go to California, I'm telling you, they will hate you because of what you have, family. This is the difference. Chicago black people hate you for the person you are. <laughs> My hand all the way up to Zion and I put Yahweh Shai name. I put Yahshua name behind it. Don't play with me, family. I came to give you some enlightenment on the truth about your people, family. Black people in California, California blacks, they will hate on you because of your car, your clothes, where you live at, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the money that you got, they will hate on you. They will hate on you. They will hate you to death for that. But here in Shy and the 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 Chicago blacks, since, and I don't know if you California blacks know this, family. If you come out here, you will be able to get a job anywhere, family. Anywhere, family. Anywhere, family. And then my, my Hebrews out here, they'd be like, man, Jehosa, can you believe poor John over there? He ain't never had no job. He ain't never had no job because he didn't want one. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm just being plain with you, family. It's money out here, family. It's richness. Now, I don't know if your black people out here see it that way. But the same opportunities that we were never given, they they look at it just like just like this. The same opportunities that a Spanish person would have in California is the same opportunities that a black person in Chicago would have. So they don't so much as hate on you for what you have. That gold chain, them shoes, that car, your girl, you know what I'm saying? They ain't going to hate on you over that. But they will hate on the man or the woman that you are. And it's a damn shame because we as black people need to do better, family. We need to do better. Now, I know they done forced us in the ghettos, family. And we were never meant to live in the ghettos at all, family. And it brings a destruction upon our own selves, family. It really brings destruction because we're too close together, family. Let me elaborate on it, family, since I brought it up yesterday. And I got me a cool two minutes, so I'm good. Now... When your people came together, they came together to make each other rich. We had common places, common ground that we would meet. You know what I'm saying? Brother, I got the potatoes. You got the tomatoes. Let's make a deal. They called it barter and trade, family. But we exchanged with each other. And in that point of us, excuse me, of us dealing with our people, it made us richer, family, because our our money stayed inside of the community. Now, you can listen to Dr. Clyde Anderson all day long and he go tell y'all that y'all money, our money goes straight to the Mr. Charlie. It does, family. Our, our money goes straight to the brothers across the border. You know what I'm saying? Our money goes to the brothers across the pond, family. We don't generate our money in our own selves. That's why it's so much poverty in our, in our community because black people don't want to work together. It's a damn shame. Black people, my people, I can speak on it. We, we more worried about looking good, family. 
That's why when you look in the hood, families, the only thing that you see popping is the barbershop and the salon, family. That We want to look good. We don't want to be good, family. And we damn sure don't want to treat each other the way that we should. And it's a damn shame because black people build up these generational curses on their own selves. I don't know if y'all know the law. I don't know. But as I look at that brother across the street, the Lord said I have to tr I have to treat him no differently than I would treat my own brother, my dad, my I don't know that man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never had I never went up to that man and said, "Hey, my name is Jehosa. How you doing? How you doing today?" I probably said hello to him and good morning, good afternoon, the pleasantries, but I had never had a time to introduce myself to that man. Do you think I will be disrespectful to that man? I got I, I got gray hairs too, but he's older than me, family. He's old, so I gotta give him more respect. I gotta give that man respect no differently that that if we were in the same family. And if you don't, you will be cursed by God Himself, family. All the races are people are supposed to treat us this way, but they don't. We don't even treat ourselves this way. That's why we build up all these generational courses that we do. You gotta take. You gotta take. What is the proper word for the accomplishment? No. You got to put this on your plate, family. You 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 got to admit that this is what you're doing. If you don't, it'll never it'll never go away, family at all, family, not even a little bit. So we came together in common lands, in common places, and we enriched ourselves. Now, when we wasn't on common land, we went back to our 200 million acres. We went back the the bigger the family is, the more acres that they had. You know what I'm saying? So if it's, if the Johnson family is big, they might have a thousand acres. But if the Smith family is small, they probably only got 100 acres, family. They kept their butt on their land inside of our borders. We're all the same people, but we just got a, la a different last name, family, since we've been split up with the, uh, the integration of the European blood that's been forged inside of our, our veins, family. So I just want you to think, family. I gave you something to think about for this day. And, and I meant what I said yesterday, family. I really meant that, family. California blacks. You get your money, move out the ghetto, move out the hood. You know what I'm saying? Move out the ghetto, move out the hood. Go buy yourself some land, build up some houses, put your family out there so y'all can live in peace. God never wanted us to be in the land of our, our captivity being poor and killing each other and beating each other down till, we were, till we're all blue and bloody, family. Teaching our children what we teach them to be as. So I'm going to just leave it there. You want to do something for your brother Israel? Come meet us in spirit at 9 o'clock, family. It's going down. All glory given to he who lives forever and knows all things, for he is a blessed God, and he can do all if you let him into your life. All glory be given to Yah.